Andrew Reese is back. Andrew Reese is back. <laughs> I think my brother probably was right. If you watched the segment last week that we did about the, the saga down there with LSU women's basketball and Kim Mulk and Andrew Reese, you heard my brother Tim G. Jacob basically allude to the fact that, uh, well, his opinion that Kim Mulkey was just trying to discipline Angel Reese because, you know, for those games that they were playing, she probably felt like she didn't need Angel. But when they ran up against number nine, Virginia Tech, she ran that queen back out there. Okay. And LSU got it done by a score of 82 to 64. Angel had 19 points on five of 10 shooting, nine boards. Okay. That's to go along with these other hoopers out here. That good uh, Amoro, 19 and 15. Shit crazy. All right. Uh, Ms. Williams went for 20 points. Uh, uh, Flage went for 13. Van Lith went for seven. You feel me? Just star studded across the board. But y'all see Kim Muck went for the fuck around, okay? After taking that L to Colorado earlier, we, once she faced up against another ranked team, she said, bullshit, come on, girl. I need you, okay? But we're going to talk about something else real quick. Something that Angel recently posted on Instagram, okay? Got my wheels turning. I want to ask y'all. I'm for real, for real asking y'all a question. I want to know y'all opinion on something, okay? Oh, uh, but before I ask the question, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first, and this is the realest, most entertaining show in the game. Put it on some again. Hit that subscribe button, share, 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 and put all of your people on it, okay? But yeah, y'all, you know, per usual, I got on Instagram to take care of my business, you know, until I go ahead and make my post for the day. And the uh, first thing that pops up, is a post from Angel Reese, okay? And that's a post, and uh, y'all can go check it out. She still got it up. Shout in the all black dress and everything like that, decked out, you know, to my showing some leg, all that kind of shit. Uh, if you keep sliding, you got a picture with the, uh, you know, uh, national championship trophy, all that, you feel me? Y'all know she she's present on social media, for real, for real. 2.6 million followers on here, and she's killing it. It's the caption, though. It's the caption that caught my eye. The caption reads, I'm not scared to break the rules. I don't fit the narrative, and I'm okay with that. Whew. So my question to y'all is, do y'all think at this time, coming off of whatever this disciplinary action was, do y'all think it's smart for Angel to, you know, have a post like this saying I'm not scared to break the rules? Okay. Only reason I'm asking this is because we still don't know what the disciplinary actions were for. We still don't know. Okay. I know the people have said the shit about the grades. Remember, Angel made a post saying don't believe everything you read. So that would make you think that that wasn't it. Uh, we just don't know. We just don't know. But whatever the case is, that post would make you think she feels like, okay, so what? I broke the rules. Big deal. You know what I'm saying? Which would be the wrong message. Which would be the wrong message, okay? Especially for those who, uh, you know, defend her, you know, to my and support her. You know, to my I support the queen, you feel for real. But if she out here fucking up, you, you don't need to be kind of you no know, gloating or being nonchalant about breaking the fucking rules. You feel me? Now she could be saying that in another way. Because I'm a rule breaker. I'm a non-traditionalist in in many ways, you know what I'm talking about. Uh if she's talking about it in that sense, okay, then of course we get behind her. But I, 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 uh, uh, I just think it's a tough time. If I was on her team, 
you know, to my if I'm in her family, I'll probably tell her, you know, I don't know about that caption right now at this moment. Y'all still got all this shit swirling around you and folks really don't know why you were suspended and all that kind of shit. You know. But who knows? It may help her and play into this bad girl image. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she's on her Rihanna type of shit. You know what I'm talking about? She's going to be bad girl Riri and turn this shit and really turn this into big money. That's what Rihanna has done. She's turning that great records. So you got to have the, the basis. You got to have the floor. Okay. For Rihanna, the floor was great records. Okay. For Angel Reese, the floor is great hooping. I mean, coming off of the suspension, she gave you 19 on 5 or 10 shooting. Okay, the girl can hoop. Okay, and she already got a national championship in the back pocket. Okay, so the floor is great hooping. Okay. But then Rihanna was able to take that persona and turn that shit into selling all this shit. This makeup and these draws to make herself into a fucking billionaire. Maybe Angel can take her persona and really go get some stupid money. Who knows? It's fascinating, and it, it'll be uh, interesting to see how all of this plays out, because I keep saying, this young lady, Caitlin, uh, Van Lith, uh, the Brink girl from Stanford, when all of them come into the league, the WNBA, to go with what them girls are already doing, particularly my dynasty, my budding dynasty. I'm claiming it already. We're going back to back to back. So that's going to be a dynasty. Well, what we doing in that league, it's really WNBA finna be on own one for real, for real. So it's going to be interesting to see how all of this shit plays out with this queen. But let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think she was wrong to make that post at this moment? You know, to our given all the uh, speculation surrounding why she was suspended. Let me know. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.